Yo, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to another video, and today I'm going to be showing you the three heaviest rides I have at this house, guys. I have like three other way heavier rods than these. Um, I have them spread out two at my dad's house, which is where my heaviest and my second heaviest is, and I have one down at my shore house. But I'll show you three of the most heaviest rods that I have here. Starting with probably the weakest rod to have out of all these. This is a rod that I was gifted by my grandfather. This is a, I'm not really sure, a skewer. I don't know how to pronounce that, if that's a B or an O. Well, there's the name right there. I can't tell if that's a D or O. I think it. See, it's an O? I'm not sure. But it's a studery, studery stick? I think, I think it's a D, studery stick. Am I saying that correctly? I'm not good at reading, guys. Well, I'm not exactly sure what real this is. Um, I don't know how to. I know it's from France. Um, it, it says that, but, um, this is a real, I have 50 pound test on hip. This is a rod that my, that my grandpa got me for a drum. Drum, if you guys don't know what drum fish is, um, they're a fish, a big fish that, um, get up to like a hundred or so pounds. By the way, guys, I have caught a drum before that, um, it was 21 pounds and there is 20 knots, of, almost 20 knots of current. Well, 20 knots in the air. I was fighting against that with, well, like the wind was fighting against, you know what I mean. And I was fighting against it, at fighting against the wind at night with another like eight or so knots. I would say, maybe, maybe like I would say like eight knots. It was moving pretty fast, and I had a drum with a decently right white rod. Like it was not this little bit lighter than this but it was pretty light yeah a little bit lighter than this that rod i was really pulling and it took me about 15 minutes also if you guys don't know i am only 10 so i'm turning 11 really soon but um i am only 10 so i'm not necessarily the best whenever i did catch it last year i am gonna try to go drumming this year again and i'm gonna take you guys along because last year I literally just started my YouTube channel, and yeah, so this rod, let me just show you real quick, I have this oh, rigged up for car, so I have this little thing right there with these little three, I like having three, especially when I go for carp, I haven't really gone carp fishing yet, but um, so basically it's just like that, I like having three because you can't really see it, but so, one could be, like, right at the hook, the other one could be, like, in the middle, and the last one can be, like, so, like, since it's three, it's a lot extra, too, um, and I like it because carp, you guys don't know, they move, and since I'm having three, I have three different areas, plus, technically, the hook that I could grip the bottom with, and yes, I, this is 15-pound test. It is green. It won't scare off the carp or anything, but it's just a little show. And plus, whenever I go, I make sure that the hooks like this too. So that little, those little hooks at the bottom of it, focus. You can kind of see them and blur, but those little things would grip better. And since I'm not putting it like this, I'm putting it like this. If it were to drop down like that, then it would be gripping like that. But I always make sure I have it the other way going down the where the hook would go into the thing, like that. So, so then it would go down like that, and then it would grip better, and I would be able to get them. But really, I can use it for salt water. This was the, what the rod was for. Saltwater drum fish, black drum, not red drum. I do live in New Jersey, so it's not really, there's not red drum here. There is sea trout though. 
That's, if you guys didn't know, that's part of the drum family. But, um, I can catch, um, this is, I just have it rigged up for a big car. And by the way, guys, this right here, this rod, is so heavy, but the reel, though, the reel is so dang light. Smooth it again. Are you kidding me? It's so sketchy after this. Okay. So, look. Look, 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 look. I have this. Ow. I have this all the way. What's that say? Okay. I have this all the way up. Now it's basically all the way up. Let me put it all the way up. Okay? It's all the way up. I can't get it anymore. Oh, I have a. How do I manage? Bruh. Bruh. What is this? How do I manage to suck? Well. Okay, so let me show you. It's all the way down. Right here. It's all the way. That's all the way. I'm easily getting it through. Like, that's with almost no power. That's why the rod's like really heavy. I can catch like a massive drum for it, but that's why I'm using this as my carp rod. Because carp, you generally want to have smaller drag so, so you can catch them. Next up on the list, put that right there. Next up, I believe it's this one. Maybe I, I don't know. Well, I'll just say they're the same. Basically. So this is my custom rod. As you can see, oh, as you can see on it, it says Braden. A little sea trout on it. I love sea trout. I'm so fat. <laughs> but I love sea trout. You see. So I'm guessing this rod I can use it for sea trout. I don't know, but this is a really nice rod. I have a really. I can't. It's a pen. That's all I can say. I can barely read it. But um. The drag is really back down, but this reel, my god. But this has braid on it. I love using braid. And this this reel is basically the same too. But once this, this reel gets in water, because it is a little old, it should be smoothing up. And I tried fishing that one over there, but it hasn't worked yet. And now for the behemoth of rods. I think this is the heaviest I have. This is like what I like to use for striper. Yes, I do go striper fishing. Big drum. This is actually what I took drum fishing. I didn't catch it on this though. Um, I was using another combo. Look at this. So this is my TLD 15 reel. This reel is so good. I've used it many times. Still haven't caught a fish on it yet. I had this for about a year now. Yeah, about a year. This drag is so tight. And that's literally the free spool. I can tighten, look, I can reel it in. Okay, that's free spool, you, can, you guys can see. That's what free spool is. It's because of this right here. This, you can open the drag, unopen the drag. And this rod is a rod they don't make anymore. It's made by South Bend. It's a Black Beauty 2. I don't know if you guys can read that. Well, these they don't make these anymore. And my grandpa took his own rod, okay, the Black Beauty 2, shortened it so it's extremely strong, you see? Look, look at that. And wipes, like, I've used this many times. I have lost stripers on this rod. That's how heavy it is. And now that you think of it, this is probably my third, fourth, maybe fifth heaviest rod I own. It's definitely my fourth. Is it my rampage bigger? Yes, I do have a pen rampage. That will be in another video. But I have an ugly stick big water surf rod. I caught my first weak fish on that. I was so stoked. Off the beach. Um, by the way, if you live by Cape May or anything, 
or like in New Jersey or PA or Delaware, I highly recommend to, or like even New York, I highly recommend as a vacation, go down, okay, find a little area like in the villas or something um, to stay at, and then go 15 minutes, or maybe right at the beach, go 15 minutes down from the villas, and go to, uh, about 15 minutes, I don't know what it is, but, go down, well, technically, go right, I don't know what to say, I'm dumb, but, um, go the way towards the ocean, then go to Sunset Beach, right by the wrecking ship, right by that, um, so, Basically, I'll tell you why is it such a good spot, but let me tell you why I recommend going there. Number one, in the summer, dead summer, thousands, and I mean thousands are fish there. Like billions. I caught big keeper weak fish, which they're, tw they're 12 and a half inches and stuff. I caught some pretty big fish. Um... By the way, there is two spinning reels that I actually think that mm, spinning reels that might be stronger than this. Um, I'll tell you. Oh wait, I want to finish tell you the actual story. So, right in there. So this is the whole thing. There's a. This is where the ship is. Like my thumb. See, that's where my the ship is. This is you right here. You cast out towards the ship. I'm casting right here. Right on this deep pocket. This area right here. There's weak fish coming out of it, including shark and flounder, and I caught some flounder. But so this is you. Casting out right into this giant trench that goes all the way up the beach. Once you get to the end of the trench, I have actually fished there. Um like walking down the beach. There's a giant weak fish there. Tons of sea robin. But right in this area here. That's where I caught the most weak fish. On pink grubs. I mean, uh, I'm so dumb. Pink gulp bait. I'm looking at myself and I look so ugly. So ugly. But, um, basically, um, so this is, these are the rods. I'll tell you about my two spinning rods that are eight, I think. My two spinning rods. My one spinning rod, I'm going to rank that it's a lot um, stronger than it. Just because I have lost massive sharks on it. So, I'll tell you about that rod. How about all the rods that are above? You can see Jaws in the background right there. Yo, what up, Jaws? But, um... By the way, that is my arowana. You can go and preview these videos and check them out. But, okay, so, the one spinning rod, the two spinning rods that I think I'm going to rank stronger than this rod, so this is the fifth strongest I own. Um, the, the beauty. But, um, so I'm telling you about the one that I lost a shark on. About a four foot, I would say, bull shark. Possibly a black tip and sandbar, also known as um, brown shark. It was like four foot, it's almost as tall as me right now. I'm four foot eight, so that is literally like I I would say it's like four foot four. So that is I'm literally four inch taller than it. Uh, I caught it on a chunk of bucker, and that rod has the strongest reel on it. Literally the strongest spinning reel I own. The strongest spinning reel I own. That reel, I have lost 15 pound um, drum. I've lost drum, 15 pound drum at smallest. I have lost up to like that shark was, I would say, 200 pounds, maybe. That reel is a beast. And how I lost it, actually, I'm really sad. You see, I'm starting to get red. It's because that was my biggest... 
Huh. That was my biggest fish ever. And guess how I lost it? I hit the boat a little bit with the braid. That's all. That tiny, itsy, bitsy bit. It just snapped. And I was so mad. I actually cried. I'm not even joking. Like, that was, that fish, that shark, jumped like five, jumped like five feet out of the water. Boy, I was mad. Okay, now let me tell you about my big water. At least like big water. And this is the rod that I took to take surf fishing. Um, notifications, no thank you. Okay, well, my big water. Bruh. My big water, I have took that striper fishing. Shark fishing. I, I, I actually want to try a drum on it too. If, is this lighting good? I'm using my computer. I'm using my monitor. I'm using my other monitor. This light. My big light. And that light. So, I'm probably looking really ugly. So, I'm going to take this light off. There we go. That looks way better. So, my big water. I was so mad. Whenever I opened the reel that I was going to get for it. Where is that reel? Oh, I know exactly where it is. It's a speed spool? I forget. I need to take that fish in again. But, um, that reel, I was not, I was disappointed because I asked for a bigger reel. Like a really, really big reel. I got, I, I asked for that reel. That's not the reel I asked for, so. And my two, bi my two bigger rods, I'm going to end it here because it's already pretty long. But, see you in the next video. I'm sorry I haven't been posting. I will post another video probably tomorrow. So see ya. Bye. Peace.